special member request, we have Collective Soul Needs, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. Okay, so a special note with this, uh, we're just going to be in a standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E, and that's how I'm going to show it to you here, uh, just to make it easy and accessible for everybody. But a special note, if you want to play along with the recording or be in that exact recorded key, you'll have to be in an E flat tuning, so just take everything down a half step. Um, but like I said, just for our purposes here, just to make it simple to jump into, uh, just keeping it standard tuning, these tabs will work just fine if you want to just tune everything down and be in that exact uh, key uh, with the E-flat tuning. So essentially we're going to be playing around with this uh, G shapes here uh, and the initial arpeggiation, you know, intro, verse, section there. Um, picking through uh, this G chord here, so start with the 3 on the E and then we're going to pick through the G, E, B string just like that. So it would be the open G, 3 E, 3 B. And we keep it moving and we go to the C suspended second and all we're doing really is we're just changing the bass note. We're going to keep this three on the high E and the B there and we're going to pick through that open G, three E, three B again, but uh, the initial bass note will be a, a three on the A now, so that C note. All right, we'll keep the bass note moving by just making it a two on the A now. So now this becomes like part of a B minor chord here. And we do the 2A, then we do our open G, 3E, 3B. And then we finish a little bit of a switch up here. We do the 2 on the E. All right, and now uh, we'll pick the open G, 3B, back to the open G. We just leave the high E out of it now. All right, and we just cycle the verse lead, or in a little interlude there between the verse there. Uh, comes on up here, we go 3rd fret B, 3rd fret E a couple times. And it's got a little fun vibrato effect on it, so you can either you know do that with a pedal, or if you have a little bar, you can do something like... Something like that. Uh, I'll just keep it straightforward here so you can hear it. Um, so we do that twice, the B to E on the 3. Okay, do the 3B, 3E again, 3B. And now we move the high E, we go 5, slide up to 7, back down to 5, then to the 3. Okay, and we repeat that whole thing a couple times. Chorus section here, and with this we're just kind of doing some uh, down strumming, just, you know, uh, quarter notes here. Initial kind of chorus, it's a little bit muted, more just, you know, the acoustic and then everything gets bigger as we go on. But we start with the G chord here, it's a normal G chord. Then we'll switch off to an E minor, same deal there. Okay, to a C. Back to the G. For the chorus lead, uh, this guitar is definitely, it doesn't have that vibrato on it, it's more just kind of a, you know, clean with some reverb and all that. So we start with our 3B to 3E. Just let that hang for a bit. Into the next chord we do the 3B, 3E. Uh, come up to the 5E, do a quick 3B, take that 5E, slide up to 7. Alright, and now we're just, or we're kind of like building as we go here. So. Uh, we build on top of that last one by doing pretty much the same thing again, but instead of just coming up to the 7 and staying there, we go down to the 3, all right, and we do that twice. All right, and we finish it all up now, coming up high here. Uh, we go B string, we go 8, 7G, and then hit a 10 on the high E. Let it ring like that, do that twice, and after the second time, we finish it by coming off that 10 high E, we go 8 to 7. Bridge section here, move to a new chord, we got our A minor. So open A, 2 on the D and G, 1 B, open high E. And with this you can kind of strum it just the same, like down strums. Okay, fill that out for a measure, and then we switch to a C. to the G, and with 
with this G, we're hanging on it for a good while there. And at the end of the first time through, the last couple beats, we'll hit a, a D chord for just a little bit. All right, go back through it again, the A, C to G. And once we get to that G the second time through, we just kind of hit it and just let it ring there. We do get a bridge lead here and it's that more vibrato vibe going on. And it almost is just kind of following the vocal. Um, we come on up, we go high E, we go 10, seven, do a 10 B, and then we go uh, eight to 10 on the B. Okay, we'll do that twice. And at the end of the second time, just coming up to the 10 on the high E, and then we go 10 to seven. Okay, for the outro segue, this is kind of where like a bunch of the uh, strings and everything come in and kind of start building up a bit. <laughs> and basically we're just gonna just build up this G chord, all right? It's just kind of like a muted strum and just building it up. Just holding on that. And the outro, a little bit of a quicker turnaround with the chords. Start with the E minor to the C, then finish just hanging on the G. Okay, mostly just down strumming and then a little shuffle at the end, you know, of each chord just to switch it up a bit. There's a, a little uh, high lead part too, and uh, kind of that same ballpark that we've been playing with. So we just do seven on the high E, and then we do a five, three, five, three. Right, and then we can throw in a little higher part of the scale here where we come up to seven. And then we do eight, seven, five, three. 